Okay. I know I've got two hours, but I cannot waste one hour, right? Okay, now, today we are going to do differentiation. Yeah, boy. Okay, so carefully first. Now, I want to tell this. Differentiation is actually very mechanical. And if you listen to me carefully, there will be no way that you can get it wrong. Is that clear? And for differentiation, I must give you the overview first. We have algebra differentiation. Later on, we are going on to trigonometry differentiation. And also, you know, exponential, e to the power x, and so on. Okay, there are a lot of types. But they're based on the same concept. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes or no? Now, the opposite or the reverse process of differentiation is actually integration. Now, if you plan to go to the JC and you plan to take H1 or H2 next, you better listen to me carefully. Is that clear? Because this will be continuous. If, if you plan to be a maths teacher, or the major is maths, or you want to be a maths professor, this will be done in a university. And you don't only differentiate one time, you differentiate two, three times. Okay? Understand? So you better be careful. Now, I'm going to do it as simple as possible. And I'm not going to go through those things that are very difficult for you to understand. You can read through them, but if you don't understand, you can't find it. Or if you're interested to know more, you can't find it. But I will not go through the very difficult concept that you have problems understanding. Is that clear to everyone? Okay? Alright. We will start with chapter 14. All of you turn to chapter 14. Basically, I will not do anything yet. I'll just tell you what we want to do in differentiation and so on. Okay? Now, class. I'm going to the textbook. I'm not going to the textbook. Okay? I'm going to my, my textbook here. Okay? Now, remember last year, when we draw a graph like that, Let's say this is y equals to x squared, right? If you know this is y equals to x squared, okay? Now, if I want to find a, the gradient of the graph at any point, I must draw a tangent, right? remember? So, for example, at zero, I must draw this tangent, right? Then to find the gradient, the gradient is zero. If I want to find at point, let's say, one, what do I do? I must draw the tangent here, right? Then I do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? Then what if I want to do it at point 2? I must draw another tangent, right? Yeah. Now, fancy is very troublesome if I, I want to find many, many points, then I can draw tangent after tangents. Yeah. Then the whole thing becomes very messy, right? Even if I want to take it at negative 2, I will locate the point and I will draw the tangent, right? Alright. Now, for differentiation, actually we are finding the gradient function. What do I mean by that? Later I'll tell you what it is. No need to copy. This one is just for your knowledge. You know how to draw tangent with you, right? After we draw tangent, what do we do? Okay, how many points? No. Two points, then after that, find the gradient. Yeah. Okay, now, you don't tell me how we do the first, now later I'll teach you how to do the Okay? Now, this is y, this is x squared, this is the original function, yeah. this one. Okay? Now, what's the meaning of dy dx? That means you differentiate y with respect to x. I'll teach you the technique later, there are many techniques. First, we bring down the power. So it's 2, right? That power is what? 2. You decrease by 1. So become what? X. 1. So it's 2x. Uh. X power of 1. Uh. Okay, now, this one will be the gradient function. Why? Let me tell you why. Uh. I don't. I don't spot someone at that. Actually, it's this one. Function. Why? Now, let's take a look. When it is at this point here, do you agree x is 0? Yeah. I suck in. Uh, The gradient is zero. You don't need to go and calculate and do that. Understand? Now, what if I want it at point one? X, x equals to one. Ah, x equals to one. Very good. Will be two into one, right? What's the gradient? Two. Do you agree that this is starting this way, so it must be positive gradient? Yeah. Okay. What if I want at point two? Answer? Four. Four. Now, can you see this is steeper? Of course, it's four. Okay, now how about this side? What if I want it at negative 2? No. Negative 4, right? Can you see it must be negative because it's slanting this way? Okay, so when we differentiate something, 
is to give us the gradient function to find the gradient at any point. Understand? Then you will ask Richard, like that, huh? in Emacs, right? Can I don't draw the tangent already? I just differentiate after that I suck in. <laughs> secretly, secretly do it, can. But you must show the tangent for Emacs and show the y2 minus y1. But this one is how we do it when we want to check the answer. You understand? This is the most accurate. Is that clear to everyone? <coughs> yes or no? Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to differentiate first, uh, the simplest form first. Okay? Alright, now let's take a look. Can we turn to page 349? Okay? Now, we will learn to differentiate functions using the basic rules of differentiation and apply differentiation techniques to solve problems. Now, they tell you this, the recall part, gradient of a line. I think you know this, right? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? I'm going to repeat this. Then, tangent to a curve. I just show you, right? Okay, tangent to a curve. You draw the contact point, you draw a tangent, right? Yes. Okay? Then, after that, they say oh, all those things down there. Okay? So, if we have the gradient function, there's no need to draw the tangents. Okay? Alright, next page. Introduction to the derivative. Okay. Now, look at the green box that is at the bottom of 350. The gradient of the curve at a point P is equivalent to the limit of the gradient of the line PQ. Just take note of this can already. If not, you are going to be very confused. Do you understand? And the next page, whereby you see a lot of delta x, now, thanks to zero, all this, you read through. If you don't understand, it's okay. Understand? Uh, higher level, they will go into detail. Do you understand? I don't want you to confuse over this and get frightened away. Would that be okay? Alright, just know that this is called gradient function. Now, where am I concentrating on? Can you look at page 351? At the middle. <coughs> Can you see the highlighted one, the gradient function? Can you see? The gradient function form is denoted by dy dx equals to 2x. It can be used to find the gradient <coughs> of the curve at any point. Just like what I've said, okay? In relation to y equals to x squared, 2x is also called the derivative of y with respect to x. Now, what do you mean by this? You must know all the definition, huh? Alright. Let me just clean off all these distractors. Now, do you agree that this is the original function? If I do this, okay, rubbish, it's not that, right? This is called the derivative of this. Derivative, that means to differentiate really because it's, it's derived from here. That's why it's called derivative. Understand? Okay. Now, next, I want to show you other things first. The, for the function y equals to fx, its derivative is commonly denoted by the symbols dy dx, f prime x, or d dx, fx. Now, what do you mean? It's like that. Listen up. If I say y is equal to x squared, I can say dy dx equals to 2x. I appreciate it. If I say fx is equal to x squared, if you see this one, one prime, uh, one prime, this one also means derivative. That means you do this type. Okay? It's equal to 2x, derivative. Okay, so it can be in D, if it's y, it's dy dx. If it's fx, f prime x will be, you, di you differentiate it. Okay, or, this is the worst. I don't use this uh, because I find it very irritating. They will say it like that. What does it mean? You differentiate this one. So what will it give you? 2x. That means you don't even write anything, you just differentiate this. Usually I don't do this though. No. I will put y equals to that, I do like that. It's easier for me. Understand? You can let y be that, it doesn't matter. So I repeat that. Uh. If the function is this, this one means the derivative. Understand? If the function is fx, f prime x will be the derivative. If the straight away find the whole thing plum like that, you also go and find the derivative. Okay, it's always dx. Now, it's always with respect to x. Depends. Sometimes it can be dt, d, 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 u, or whatever. Look at the question itself. I will show you later with examples. You just take note of the notation first. Would that be okay? Alright, huh? Okay, now. Next. Look at the last part there. Where they say dy, dx. Now, what is the meaning here? It means dy dx at x equals to 3. Now, I don't use this notation because some people are very messy, they don't know what they are writing. 
Do you understand? I always say when x is what, dy dx is what. It's easier. Don't use this because it's very confusing. Some people have handwriting terrible, cannot read. Do you understand? Okay, then it will confuse the marker and then go Cambridge and then mark zero. Everybody clear? Okay? Alright, now, next up. In general, they tell you all this there, you read up. Uh, page 352, uh, you read it through yourself. Then I'm going on straight to the power rule. Okay? And uh, if you look at page 353, this is the first rule that you must know. Now, what do you mean by that? I'm going to show you the first rule here. Okay, later on we're going to build on this fundamental rule here. Do they a lot of teachers wear like that? Black and white. I don't know why they are just happened to take out from my cupboard. That's all. I'm deciding between grey and black, so I thought black would be better. Because today I got three lessons all the way, right? It's a sad day, right? Tomorrow I'll still be in black. Because also three lessons. Thursday I'll still be in black. Because also three lessons, no shop. I already prepared my meat already. You know the strawberry there? Okay, just now I have one lesson, you have a second lesson, right? I go down, drink, one packet, then I go to 309. If not, I will, I will just die there. Now I hunger. Can you imagine? In Singapore, that was like starvation. I cannot imagine this kind of rubbish. Okay, never mind. But I'm very happy that I'm coming to this class. That's why hunger is not a problem. Okay? Y equals to XN. Let's say they give you this. Y equals to XN. How would you find DY DX? That means you differentiate. First, you bring down the power n x, right? Then n minus one. This is the first rule. Okay, I will show you with examples. This is the simplest of all. Okay, can you look at page three five three? That is the first rule. Can you look at that? If y goes to x n, where n is a rational number, then dy dx is n x n minus one. Understand? It's the first rule you must know. Now I'm going to do example one. Y goes to x fifteen. Find dy dx. Okay, everybody look up. It's very simple. 50, right? X, what? 49. Straight away, right? Correct. Right. No need to trouble, right? Okay, next one. Ah, when it comes to this type, right? You go off, you come. Ah, careful, lah. Uh. Use index form, uh. Minus 10. X minus 10, right? So, what's dy dx? Look up. Minus negative 10x minus, minus 11 Negative 11, right? Yeah. You say, sure, can I leave it like that? Can, if they never say anything But, usually we will tend to leave it in positive index It doesn't matter, if they never say it, it's okay It doesn't matter, any form will do <coughs> Everybody clear? Yes Okay, uh? yeah. alright, now, next The constant multiple rule This one is just some things that is derived from here Okay? Now, let's say I have y equals to k and x. That means a constant times something. So, dy dx will be k, k multiply y, d dx, and x. Now, it looks very complicated here. Actually, don't bother about this. It's called absolute wrong issue. Okay, let me just show you the easy, easy way out. Now, look at this one. Huh? Can you see it's a constant times something? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, this is all we do. This is carefully. Divide the x. What is 7 times negative 3? Minus 21. Ah, negative 21, no? X. X. Then you minus, minus 1. Four. Negative 4. So it's negative 21 over x4. This is how we are. This means. That means the constant stay here, you differentiate, that's all. Because when you differentiate, the power will come down. Do you agree what I'm talking about? Then you just multiply only, ma'am. Oh. Everybody okay now? Actually, uh, if I follow that one, right? This one means like that. Y equals to 7 times this guy. Am I right? Then, dy dx will be 7. Then, I differentiate this guy. Oh. What is it? G. Negative 3, x minus, oh. minus, four. Oh. minus 4, right? So, it's negative 21, x minus 4. Can you see the same? Oh. So, can you see just here like that? Can you don't talk so much? Uh. Yeah. They talk so much to confuse you. <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about? I don't like confusion. Uh. Are you all clear now? Yeah. Okay, so it means that uh, a 
Okay, then we come to difficult time. This class will come to indices. Sure, we'll die faster one. Huh? Not die lah, huh? but every new job is survive lah. Huh? <coughs> Find the right X. Ah. First thing, I want to tell you this. Do not panic. Okay. <coughs> y equals to 4 over 3. X what? 2 over 3. 2 over 3, right? Yes. Power. Okay, what is my dy dx? If you cannot see, ah, 4 third times. It's 4 third times 2 third. Ah. Then X, 2 third minus 1. Ah. Minus 1 third. Ah, minus 1 third, right? What is this? Eight over nine. Don't say oh differentiated already. Nine. I will simplify. I box you. I tell you. Eight over nine. X minus X one third. Negative one third, right? Okay. If you want to write in the other form, it will be nine. Yeah. Q root X, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Just think like that. Can be. Okay. If you don't say anything, it's okay. It doesn't matter at all. Everybody clear? Okay. So you turn to the next page. That will be the answer. Everybody okay? Yes. Then I'm going on to two simple ones that people always make mistakes. Yeah. Mm. When I have y equals to 1, 2, 1, x, what is my dy dx? 1, x minus 1. Now, do you agree that this is power 1? So it's 1, 2, 1, x0, right? What's x0? Y. So the answer is minus 1. So no need to memorize this. I'm just going to go and do a thing like that. Whenever it's y equals to 7x, I only know what's the word yet. 7 is just a constant. Because this one will become 0. Power 0. Everybody okay? Can or cannot? Can or cannot? Can or? Easy, right? Okay. Go. Next. Next one is the one, huh? Oh, and double. Y goes to 6. This is a constant. At zero. 0. Do you agree this one is x power 0? Yes. 6, huh? Wait, huh? Y goes to 6 is the same as 6 times x power 0, right? Yes. So, 0 times 6. 0. 0. x, 0, minus 1. Minus 1. It's still 0, right? Yes. Okay. So, when you differentiate a constant, the answer is what? Zero. Zero. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes or no? Okay, ah. Uh? So I repeat, ah. Uh? Yo, destroy my hand. Okay. Let me just ask you. What is dy dx? Four third. Four third, right? Straight away, four third, right? Okay. When y is equals to ten or one million. What it is the one yet? Zero. 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 Okay. Zero. Understand? Uh? That's why some students are very cute. Uh? After they learn differentiation, they think they're very, very clever already. Uh? They can tell me, Miss Yap, the difference, the, when you differentiate, my love for you, right, is zero. <laughs> that means my love for you is a constant. Oh. You know that kind of thing? Okay. Oh. You can talk rubbish like that. Wow, what is rubbish? <laughs> Am I right to say that? So they can tell me this kind of nonsense. Uh? Okay, so actually they know what they're talking about. Okay, all right, good. So are we okay now with these two rules? Okay, uh? all right, good. Then I'm continuing. All right, let's take a look at the sum rule and the difference rule below. Actually, it means nothing. It means you differentiate them term by term. That's all. Everybody clear? Yeah. Okay, if you look at the question, you differentiate u plus v, means you differentiate u first, then you, you do v. Can see it now? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go straight into example four. Huh? They say differentiate, I must teach you this one. Huh? So some people don't know how to read. That's question one. Differentiate 3x4 minus 4 root x minus 2 with Respect to x. Now, with respect to what, it makes we write like that. Nah. With respect to what, you must know this. Nah. We go higher level, they will always do this. Nah. Okay, let's short form. Right? Ah, this is short form, correct? Right? But I don't usually write this because some maths teachers also don't know this one because they are not maths graduate. You know, some teachers are not maths graduate and they're teaching maths, right? 
their engineering graduates. Okay, so actually I told my students if they want to be a maths teacher, it's better than be a maths graduate. Because your maths is more authentic, you understand the You don't have the engineering maths coming into your different way. Like Kung Fu, right? Yeah. You practice Kung Fu, it must be from the master. What I always do is this. I don't like like that. Now there are two ways to present. Let me show you. I can say y equals to this. That is easier for me. If not, uh, some people uh, they like to do this. Though. I cannot take this. Uh. Not wrong, uh, you're differentiating this, uh, but it's very it's very wrong, uh, you understand what I'm talking about? Especially when this one is complicated, you're going to die. Uh. Okay, so you just let one this. So differentiate this with respect to x means dy what? Dx, huh? Okay. Now we do term by term. On the this term this was it? Twelve x cube, right? Now before I do that, can you see I have to rewrite first? And that easier. Yeah. Okay. Then what is this? Two. Two or minus two? Minus ah, minus two x what? Minus half. Minus half right. And when I differentiate a constant, it's what? Zero. Oh yeah, that's all. Agree? Okay, now what if I want to write nicely, of course. Correct? Yes or no? Okay, also, but if one by one. Huh? That's one by one. One by one do, correct. This is when it is only addition. Sometimes we have multiplication and division. Then we go to product root quotient root. One later. Don't talk about it. Huh? Talk about it, later you flip, flip and die. And then the second lesson cannot survive already. <coughs> Tell me what you have in your mouth. Is that an eraser? Huh? You're showing me that you put one eraser in your mouth. <laughs> Is it a sweet? Yeah, then don't show me. <laughs> do you understand what I'm talking about? You're telling the police, come, come, catch me, you know? <laughs> okay, and somehow he do like that. <laughs> Why are you trying to show me? Your jaw can open very wide, see? I will tell you, crocodile can even open wide. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Alright. Don't talk rubbish, huh? I see you already, I get angry, okay? Alright, next. <coughs> How dare you? Alright, next. Differentiate, look at example 5. Ah. Differentiate each of the following with respect to what? See, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to show you this, uh, how to present. Uh, don't try to present rubbish uh, when it's exam. Okay, I'm going to do both together. Okay, no, F what? Okay. Oh, look up. I'm going to do it now. Now, F, T. Now they give you in terms of F function. F, T. What is t squared divided by t? t. t plus what? 5. 5, five plus 4 over t. Right. Now, I don't want to do first. I want to write like this first. 4 t minus 1. Am I right? Yeah. Then, it's f prime t right? Yes. Different shape. You don't call it y, dy, dt. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Unless you're going to put y equal to this. Now, if I want to present this, let's say y is this. Huh? If I want to differentiate it, it's dy with respect to t. Uh. It's dy dt. Uh. You don't have to go in dx, uh, I tell you first. Uh. That's never the question. Understand? Okay, now we're going to do one by one. Tell me, what's this? Y. <laughs> one or zero? Y. 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 Oh. Y. Y. Don't talk. You are fooling. Y. 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 One right. Yeah. Down is what? One. You see that it's invisible one here. So it's one mark. Then t one minus one mark. So this is what? Zero. So this is one right. So what is it? Wow. One mark. Huh? Oh. So one. This one? Zero. Zero. If you don't know zero, you care. I'll get zero. Okay. What is this? Minus four t minus two. So it's one minus four over t. Alright. Everybody clear? Everybody clear? Okay, uh. now I hope I'm presenting it in uh, in the best possible way. Uh. You thought it was very confusing. If you read the whole thing, uh, I think you're going to flip the dial the floor. Okay, now let's take a look at the next one. Now, this one. Don't say product, I differentiate one by one. No such thing. You're going to expand first. I'll set up. 
So what do we have? T. T, this is 1, this is half right. So T, 3 over 2 right. Then, plus 3T, minus root T, minus 3 right. So I'm going to rewrite. I always rewrite first one. Alright now. That was the next step. Some people are very cute, no? After they expand, they think they finish already. You must find the number T for your step. So F prime T will be 3 over 2 T1. 3 over 2 minus 1. 1 over 2. Plus 1. 3 minus half T. Minus half. What is this? 0. Agree? Okay, now. So what do I write it nicely? 3 over 2 root T, right? Plus 3 minus 1 over 2 root T, right? Okay? It doesn't matter. If they don't say anything, you just leave it like that. Full marks given away. Everybody clear? Okay? Everybody okay so far? Yes. Okay, huh? Alright. Now, then, I'm going on to three more examples to tell you what are the applications. Okay? Because you know why? Learning this right, and then we practice knowing this one, you must know where is the application. This one, uh, slowly, slowly, it will be ingrained into your head. Understand? Uh? Because I will do a chant later. You know, like, like sutra, mantra, like that. Okay? Square the water, blah, 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 everything will come and chant, chant at me. So after that, you see the problem. Straight away, the chant will come to your head. Square the water, then just square, you, you, you go straight away. Okay? Alright, so, next. Let's take a look at example 6. Can you read through the example first? Because these are some of the applications that you need to have. Your AMAX common test uh, is most likely binomial theorem, chapter 14 and chapter 15, half of it. Okay, because we cannot stop. Understand? That's why I must be taking here. Okay. Huh? Until 15, wait, I see where's rate of change, but they're going to delete rate of change. Let me check. I don't know my topics that well yet. You see, increasing function, so easy. That means until 15.2, yeah. Can I know? Yeah. Yes, yeah, chapter 5, 14, and 15, until 15.2. Binomial theorem, ah, uh, uncle. Okay? Uncle, yes. That's uncle Declan, ah. Uh. Two years or more. Okay, this is the graph given, right? Now, I don't need anyone to copy anything. It's better for you to understand and to copy. Is that clear? Yes. All look out at about now. The diagram shows part of the curve y equals to 6 minus 4x over x, where x is not equal to 0. And the point A, 3, negative 2. Find the gradient of the curve at the point A, 3, negative 2. That means I must find the gradient at this point, right? That means in Emax, what would it, we have done? We have drawn a tangent and then get it, right? Okay, cannot, ah. Huh? So it's not even plotted right. Okay, now, so we have this. Y equals to 6 minus 4x over x. Y is actually 6 over x minus 4, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm not going to differentiate yet. X, negative 1, minus 4, right? So it's like finding the gradient. Okay, and yes. I must find the gradient function first. What is dy dx? Negative 6, x, minus 2, 0, right? Okay, so this is negative 6 over x squared, right? Now, to find gradient at a, when x is what? What's my x? 3. Three. Okay. dy dx will be minus 6 over 3 squared, right? So be what? Negative 6 over 9, negative 2 over 3. So what's the gradient at a? Will so be negative 2 over 3. Everybody clear down here. Can you see that? Okay, alright, good. Next. Okay, usually I want to write dy dx because later on you have second differential. That means you've got to differentiate another time. So it's d2y, the dx, but second derivative. You won't go until third derivative. That one is higher level. 
our whole life will be seeming we just second and looking. Understand? Okay? Alright, now. So, this is the thing here. Everybody okay? Can or cannot? Can, huh? Now, look at part two now. Find the gradient of the curve at the point where y is equal to negative 10. Now, I know the gradient function. Well, the gradient function only have what? X, right? What? Y. So, when y is 10, I must start in here, right? To find out what's my x, right? Agree, class? So, part 2, huh? When y is 10 or negative 10, you know, remember? When y is negative 10, I will have negative 10 equals to 6 minus 4x over x, right? Yeah. So, negative 10x equals to 6 minus 4x, right? Negative 6x equals to 6. x equals to negative 1, right? Agree? Yes. Huh? It's simple algebra, huh? So, when y is negative 10, what's my x? Negative 1, right? So, yes. Divide the x will be negative 6 over negative 1 squared. So, the answer is negative 6. So you'll say gradient at da 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 da. Just write the conclusion. Even if you don't write it right like that, you'll mark it correctly really because you got it already. It's negative 6. Everybody clear? Yeah. Okay, huh? Alright, go. Last part. The point where it crosses the x axis. This is coordinate geometry. When it crosses the x axis, what is 0? Y. Y is 0. Very good. So when y is 0, When y is 0, I'll have 0 equals to 6 minus 4x over x, right? So, negative 6 is equal to negative 4x. What's my x? 3 over 2, right? Is it correct? Yes. 3 over 2. So, divide the x is this guy. So, when x is 3 over 2, what is my divide the x? Negative 6 over 3 over 2 square, right? Right. So, use your calculator will do. So let me just do it. This is a 4 over 9, right? Negative 24 over 9. Is it correct? But I can uh, simplify it. 8 over. Is it correct? Yeah, I made a mistake. It's negative 8 over 3, right? Correct. Right? That means negative 2, 2 and 2 and 2 third. Now, no need to change to mix number. Uh. A max, leave it in improper fraction. Uh. It's okay. Do you understand now? So I just want to caution you. Uh. When we sort in the gradient function, we are substituting in value for x, uh, not value for y. Huh? So if you don't know what is your x, you must go and find out. Is that clear to everyone? Yes or no so far? <coughs> yes. Am I too fast? No. Uh, let's go on to example 7. Read the question again. Yes, plus minus one. This one is very common. Now you all are always there. Okay. 
okay, it's very common, plus minus one. So what did the question say? Find the coordinates of the point at which the tangent of the curve is horizontal. Now, do we stop here? No. They don't want the x coordinate, they want everything, right? Yeah. So, when x is 1, what is my y? So, 1 plus 1 over 1, right? So, it's 2, right? Yeah. How about when my x is negative 1? What's my y? Okay, so 1 plus 1 <laughs> over Minus. negative 1. So, it's negative 2, right? Now, do we leave like that? The question say what? Coordinates. Coordinates. So it will be 1, 2, and what? Negative 1, negative 2. Read the question carefully. 1, 2, and negative 1, negative 2. If you don't write this, one mark deducted. That's where you must save all your marks. Do you understand? Read the questions carefully. Are you all clear so far? This is example 7. I'm going on to the last one already. Huh? Example 8. Okay, example 8. Ah. You know what? Uh, life cannot be just differentiate, differentiate. If differentiate ever come out like that, it won't give so simple also. Understand? You will give product rule portion or I'll teach you later on how to do product rule portion. Okay? Now, example 8. Given that the curve y equals to ax squared plus b over x, where a and b are constant, has a gradient of what? Yes, gradient of 4. At the point 1, 5, right? Okay. Calculate the value of A and of B. Okay. A and B are constants. That means they are numbers. Treat them as numbers. Okay. Y will be AX squared plus BX minus 1. <coughs> Whole class look up. What is the Y of the X? 2ax, right? Then, minus b, x minus 2, right? That means it's 2ax minus b over x squared. It's the first step. Agree or not? Agree or not? Okay. Now, when x is 1, what is my divide in x? I'm going to stop in here. Everybody okay? So I will have 2a1 minus b over 1 squared. It's equals to 4, right? So 2a minus b is equals to 4. Equation 1, right? Yes. Now, where to get the other equation? So the y. Ah! This point must lie on the curve. Come on, don't say die already. You cannot find the other equation, so we have no solution. Okay? So when y is 1, what is my x? Sorry, when my x is 1, what is my y? 5, five right? Okay, so I will have 5 equals to a plus b, right? Yes. Can you see? Yes. Why? Okay, why? Okay, okay, I'll sub in. Uh. Some people cannot see that. Uh. 5 equals to a 1 squared plus b over 1, okay? <laughs> Can or not? Can. Can uh? So what is this? A plus B equals to 5 uh? Question 2. Am I right? I plus. 1 plus 2 uh? plus. This is gone already. 3A equals to 9. What's my A? 3 right. Sub into here. B will be 2 right. So A3, B2. Everybody okay? So sometimes you cannot forget. Uh? Okay? When you differentiate, we give you this. But don't forget, the point must lie on the curve. It's not 45 degree. So this will give you the second set of equations. Are you all okay, class? Can you understand? Yes. Huh? Can do that one. Okay. You can do this one first, then this one. It doesn't matter. Okay. But usually I will go and differentiate first. Huh? Okay. Then I will see what's wrong with it. Huh? Where to get the other, the other function or the other equation. It will be easier than me. Everybody okay so far? Okay. Huh? Okay. So let me just summarize what we have. Huh? Class, listen up. First, we must know how to differentiate. Then we must know that when you differentiate, right, that one becomes the gradient function. Understand? Then you substitute the x value in, it will give you the gradient at a particular point. You do not have to draw tangent anymore. Everybody clear? Everybody clear? Okay, now. There's no time for me to go and do all the exercises. 15, 40.1, 40.1. Those that I didn't choose, 
you have to do it yourself. Is that clear? Okay, all right. Now, tomorrow will be our will be going through the 2C probability, right? Okay, then now I will give you the homework here, plus I will do it together with you. Understand? Uh? If not, you are in trouble. Okay, later on, I will go to chain rule. I just plumb the thing first, no homework for chain rule. You understand? Because I want you to know the concept first. Because chain rule needs to sink in. Everybody okay? Because two periods, I cannot just teach like that, ma. Oh, that's a waste of my time, ma. Right? Okay? Alright, now. Your AMX uh, content page. You should only have binomial theorem there. Don't tell me you lost it because some people take two pieces from here. <laughs> the first one is binomial theorem, is it correct? Yes. Now it's number two, right? Yes. Okay, number two. Dono cookware already. Differentiation. <coughs> now, I will not give you a book homework, but those questions that I'm not give, you must try yourself. Clear? We have the time, alright? So, straight away, I'm going to give you the full scan. <coughs>
minus 100 over x squared. Everybody okay? Yes. Alright, good. I will let you have time to do the rest. I won't interrupt you, okay? You want to revise your geography also can. Okay. Then now is can you know stop talking to me? Huh? Later is what? Volcano? Ah? Yeah. Oh, 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 chapter. The whole thing on volcano. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I, I failed geography one, so I didn't. <laughs> I didn't take geography when I'm in sex three. I can't stand it. You take what? 